One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thirty-two new cards? Yeah, that's right, okay. Or thirty-one, okay. Alright, alright, alright. So let's start, okay? We're starting with the Black Wing Technician. Uh, so this card is a 3-5 for 3 if you're holding a dragon. I think it's, uh, I think it's fine. Um, especially against, like, Mech Mage. I think it's really strong. Because all of Mech Mage's, uh, minions have 3, three health. Uh, so... Yeah, this card is probably gonna be good. It's just naturally pretty good. Um, yeah, nothing more to say about that. This card, we actually saw in the, in the, um... The kind of the review, right? Uh, the reveal with, with uh, Zarya and uh, Rithran. Um, and uh, I think Ixar used this uh, in the uh, Warsong Commander deck. And I'm really happy that Warsong Commander got uh, fixed. Uh, and But then otherwise, I think this, this card belongs in like a gimmick deck. It's kind of like a win condition because it's very expensive. Um, I still don't see this being played a lot. Except in very, very tight uh, decks. You know, like the Warrior deck, for example. Um, another combo of this would be like Unstable Ghoul, but I think it's really hard to pull off. I don't really like it. Mm, Rated kind of low. Hungry Dragon, though, on the other hand, I like this card because, um, it's a very fat body. Now, people say, people compare it to, like, Pit Lord, yeah, because it's a 4 mana 5, 6 as well. But, like, summoning a 1 cost mini for opponent can be kind of exploited. Like, if you if you run Priest, for example, you can Cabal it, you can Shadow Madison or whatnot. Um... If you have like uh, Frog and Berserker, you can run it in and, and be very happy about it. You can play this in with mi mind control tech. Even I think there's a lot of uh, fun stuff you can do, but uh, you need to know what the one cost is, right? Someone made a good Reddit post, I think, of like what Hungry Dragon can summon. Like there are three taunters, um, what six good minions, and like whatever something like that. Yeah, so you do need to like keep in mind the stuff. You should usually attack first, by the way, before summoning Hungry Dragon. Unless you're scared of, like, Dust Devil. Because, like, Dust Devil is just, like, whatever, right? You just... It, it takes 6 damage is a lot. But usually, I think you do attack first. You don't want to attack into Taunter. Um, Dark Iron Skulker for Rogue. Uh, I don't really like this card as well because it's very overcosted. I don't play a lot of Rogue, so obviously my, um... My... Judgment of this card might, might be a bit off. But I don't foresee this being played nearly as much. Cause, uh, cause it's it's very specific, right? It's not like a consecrate. It's like to all undamaged enemy minions only. As but then in, in the same case when you're a rogue, you don't really damage minions, right? You just kill them off usually. So in that case, it'll be good. But as a three health card, I don't really like it because um, there are three tiers of uh, minions, right? There's three health, there's four health, and there's five health. That's like the magic number because. There's not a lot of spells that deal 6 damage, and there's not a lot of spells that deal 3 or less damage. Like, if you deal 3 damage, it deals 3 damage, right? And 4 is kind of like the point where it dodges the 3. And 5 is like the point where uh, it dodges a lot of 4 attack creatures. So 3 is like in the lower tier of this. Um, oh, that's why this is not a decent card, if anything. Um, let's move on first. Red Black Hand! Uh, once it, it's at the 4 department, it's slightly better than 3. And, of course, you need to make, be playing a Dragon deck to play this. Now, Legendary Minions, uh, I think the best target for this is like KT, uh, Chromagus, the new card that was released, Zera, stuff like that. So, if that ever becomes the meta, this could be a thing. But at the same time, you compare this to Hemet Nessingway, which is like a 6-3 uh, kill beast. And that's not even, that has a, not even seen play, like 0% play, Hemet Nessingway. So, um, I really doubt that this is gonna be super popular. Um... I think in a dragon deck, it will make sense to play this. Like it's a it's a fatter BGH, I guess. But if you're um, there's enough answers that you can make for like, you know, KT Chromagus and whatnot. I I I, I, I it's a very specific uh, meta specific card, so very insignificant in my opinion. X Flinger though is actually oh first I look at this card I was like yeah whatever it, the stats are bad the effect is minor but it actually is not that bad like it's um you kind of treat this as like a, as like a leopard gnome right uh if you're going like really really fast warrior um this if it procs two times like it's worth the value already because it's a four mana deal four damage to your opponent's face and make them spend removal on a five health creature right five is on the upper echelon of like of like uh, minion minion health, so I think this is actually a very good card. Uh, you need to be playing, I think, the mid range uh, warrior to play this card. So, for example, the um, the the the, the mid range hunter without Alexstrasza, the one that 
Zelay and uh, Orange is using. But keep in mind that when you play this card, you are paying stats for damage. Which means you need to close out the game fast, right? This is definitely not better than Shredder, but it does survive a Shredder. So that's why it's really not that bad. Uh, at first, when I first saw this card, Lava Shock, I was really happy about it, and then I was not impressed by it. Because, um, usually you're only overloaded for two, right? It's really hard to be overloaded for more than two. And this is basically a backstab. Okay, sure, you can, uh, cast out minions their damage, and sure, you can target the opponent's face. But, there are a lot of situations where you're not overloaded, and you have this card, and you're really sad. And when you are overloaded, and you, when you not have this card, it's fine too, right? Because, um... Like, it, it, it kind of treat this as like a Moonfire, in my opinion, right? It's a 2 damage Moonfire. And would you run a 2 damage Moonfire? Maybe. But it's a 2 damage Moonfire with a condition that you do use this up. And of course, if you Pharaoh Spirits into Lava Shock, I think the best way to use it is to do a preemptive Lava Shocks, right? So for example, like, La Pharaoh Spirits into Lava Shock is really strong because it all it, it removes the overload. So you can, next turn you can do Fire Elemental or something like that. That's the best way of using it. Um, if you use it after... Uh, that turn you are overloaded. I think it gets very clunky. So the best way would be like what? Pharaoh's, Pharaoh Spirits into Lava Shock Hero Power. Look, that's not really strong. Turn 3, turn 4. So, um, yeah. Not really also too impressed with this card. Dragon Egg is one of those weird cards where um, you don't really know what to do. And of course, with, the, with this card, it means the Hungry Dragon could summon Dragon Egg. Um, if this procs once, it's actually quite strong already. Uh, because if you added the stats, it's 2-3, right? And it's in two different bodies. So you can't just say wrath this and it clears it, right? It, you have to play the two separate bodies. Of course, if you can activate this yourself, uh, it'll be a bit stronger. So um, I think it'll be played in... Um, it'll be played in decks that can buff their own creatures. Um, but not in pyro decks. I don't think this is good in pyro decks or like self-AOE decks or stuff like that, right? Because obviously you just kill the web that you summon and you summon another the web, so that's kind of redundant. Uh, and it's like I kind of it's like a one mana with New Rubin Egg, and by that point, won't you rather play New Rubin Egg instead? So um, maybe like a five out of ten. It's a one drop, so people can get crazy with this, but I don't see this being too significant as well. Uh, Dragon Sorcerer, um, not really too insane as well. It's, it, it's better than the previous ones. Like so far, this has been the best card, I guess. Um, that uh, 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 like from the list that we went through. Um, because if you buff it, it does become pretty crazy. Especially in Priest, yeah. Power Shield, this is a 4-8. Four, 4-8 four, eight. Four, eight is pretty insane. Um, but uh, with Hearthstone, you don't want to pull too many resources into one minion except for Priest, right? So I think this is a very Priest-specific card. The other classes that can buff their own stuff are Druid, which nobody plays Mark the Wild or Mark of Nature or like, God Save Me with Dark Whispers. And with Paladin, people don't play Kings, Blessing of Wisdoms, and a hand of protection and stuff like that. So this is really only going to be seen in Priest, if at all. And uh, yeah, Priest Dragon Dust might make a thing, because Priest does not really have a good 4-drop, right? The only 4-drop in Priest is, is Arcana Soul Priest. That's why in a lot of the new Priest deck, you see, it um, has, has the uh, Shredders inside. So kind of hard to compete with Shredder with this card. So maybe a 6 out of 10 for this one. Flame Waker is also one of those cards where I don't really like. Uh, at first, I think it was pretty good. And then I say, I think it's just pretty bad. Because, like, people think this is insane because it's kind of like a Blast Mage. But I argue it's not really like a Blast Mage. Because when you, if you do Blast Mage, you're developing the board. And when you use spells, you're not developing the board. Uh, I treat this as, like, a 3-mana 2-4 that gives t plus 2 spell damage. Uh, so it's slightly better than the 3-3 three, three mech that gives 1 spell power. The, the Suit Spear, yeah? But it's not insane. Like, I, I, I don't think this is going to be too too good. Um, at least in my opinion. Like, like for example, if you, can, if you fit this in Mech Mage, is that even good? Um, maybe in the Secrets, uh, very aggressive deck. But then, like, at, in that case, you're all in. And you might as well just play Leper Gnomes. And, like, you know, um, other stuff, I guess. Maybe in a Leper Gnome, uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice, and then Mirror Image deck, this would be good. But I don't see this making any of the decks right now. So, yeah. Uh, this, on the other hand, is I think it's really good. Uh, I might be wrong, but it's... Uh, it, it's a super... It's a super Harvest Golem. Uh, that's how I look at it. And because it's a demon, of course, you can uh, buff it with stuff. Uh, I think this is going to be great. Um, something like an 8 out of 10. Uh, might make demon, um, demon decks really, really good. 
And I would want to make a demon deck now with this card. Um, one of the better ones. <laughs> Such a creative name. Yeah, it is pretty creative, I guess, in a sense. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, if you trade... For example, if you trade for a Paladin hero power, you're basically mind-controlling every time. So if you can mind-control four dudes, that's pretty good. You know, for three mana, that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Uh, this card is obviously not really that good. The only turn, uh, the only time I guess you can see play is when you use Web Spinner. Um, yeah, that's really it. Because it, 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 even with like in the Face Hunter deck, all your cards are supposed to do damage, right? And this card doesn't do damage when you play it. So when you play this, it just gets death, it just gets BGH'd, it just gets uh, Aldoored and whatnot. It doesn't give you damage immediately. And Face Hunter needs to go face. So, yeah, um, if this was, I think if this was like a 7-7, seven, seven, and if your hand is not empty, then uh, give it minus 3, minus 3, it might see more play. Because then you can silence it, and then you can do 7 damage. I think that would be a cooler design. Um, but that might be a bit OP, I'm not really sure. <laughs> you know, something like that, you know, kind of like change it around. Alright, um, at first I looked at this card, I really didn't like it. Um, and then I looked at it a bit more, and I was like, okay, maybe this is okay. Because in a sense, it's just like a fire elemental. It's a neutral fire elemental, right? Um, uh, we can tell by looking at the reveal that holding a dragon is not that hard. Like, you usually get it off. Like, so Black Ring Technician usually busts itself. Black Ring Corruptor, usually you get the damage. And, uh, yeah. But three damage sometimes, it's not really that relevant because, like, now we need like four, f there's a lot of four health creatures now, right? So you need the one damage from somewhere else. So this would be strong in decks that can like, do that one extra damage, like Druid, Rogue, Paladin as well, because Paladin has a dude. Um, but Priest and Warlock might not really want to play this card. Um, basically, hero powers that can't deal one damage would not want to play this card, right? It's kind of funny, because Hunter, Priest, and Warlock, and Warrior, stuff like that, you don't, you, you can't really imagine this card being like that. I, I, I just really can't imagine it. It's a good card, but it will be a bit better in, you know, decks that can do that extra damage, I think. I, I don't know why they made this card. This card is, uh, I mean, the graphic is insane, but, uh, yeah, I think the better cards are the later, the later list, but I don't know. You need to, like, kill three guys to have a two mana deal four damage. So it's a flame cannon that you can target and you can target the face as well. But in, the condition is to kill three guys. That's pretty hard. Now the other the other card that they released with the, this this effect is really good, but this is really bad. Cause like, why would you not play Fireball? You pay one less mana for two more damage, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. This card is really bad. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> of course, Nefaria is uh, sus suspected to BGH, but then this card is not really, also not really going to see too much play, I think. It's going to be like a very, very techy card against certain classes, because the only classes that can actually make use of this card really well are like weapon classes, right? Because if you ever Nefarian a Deadly Poison and Blade Floor, you're going to be super sad. So every weapon class probably is not going to play, every non-weapon class is probably not going to play this. Uh, if you're a Paladin, you could play this, um, but yeah, like, I, I, I just, there's just so many, there's just so many things that can go wrong, okay? You get Ancestral Healing, you get Shield Slam, uh, you get, uh, what's that bad druid card? Um, Poison Seeds, you know, so, like, you just get a lot of bad stuff. And it's one of those legendaries that when you play it doesn't really do anything. Um, when you, you play Zera, it's a big body on the board, right? Sure, you draw a dream card, it doesn't really do anything that turn, but it's a 4-12. Um, it can soak a lot of stuff. 4 attack is really good. I wish they make this a 6-10, to be honest. Because, um, like, dragons, when you add up their attack and health, is always 16, right? So if this was a 6-10, I think it would be pretty good. But it's not, so... Ah, heck, why 6-10? We can make a 6-9, right? Uh, yeah. Actually, I, actually, not, not uh, too much... It's not too bad. This this card is actually pretty good in my opinion. Like nine nine is way better than eight eight, and way better than seven seven, right? Because if it's gonna get BJ, it's gonna get BJ anyways. And nine nine trades really really well for like a lot of uh, a lot of things. And of course, going for face for nine damage is pretty insane. Uh, you can also more or less choose the mode it is in. Um, but of course, you need to you can like play this before you attack, or you can attack and then play this. For example, uh, 
Oh, no, it, it's pretty cool. Um, decks that I can, I think this can be used in are, um, you know, decks can actually deal regular damage to your opponent's face, you know, something like Mech Mage. Not Mech Mage, just General Mage, I guess. Uh, Shaman, even? You know. I, I, I mean, every Dragon deck would try and consider this card. But, uh, yeah, obviously, the Battle Cry has no board effect immediately. But I think it's, it's, it, it's okay. Like, I, I, I would experiment this. It's okay. But this one's way better. This one is way better. Alright, this one is one of the better cards. Um, because if you trade for two minions, like, for example, it's a pilot matchup, yeah? Trade dude for dude, you get a 6-4. Like, that's pretty insane. And that's not even too insane. Like, 4 mana 6-4 is, I, I think it's, like, reasonable, yeah? Because you compare it to, like, what, Yeti or something like that, 4-5, it trades evenly or whatnot. This gets more insane when you trade more creatures. I, every time I look at this mechanic, I look at, I, I think of Mustard for Battle. And I go like, holy, Jesus, this is insane, right? You can do like flame strike, put a lot of volcanic drakes, and stuff like that, yeah? Doomsayer, put a lot of volcanic drakes. I, I, I don't think this is going to be a thing, though. But, um, yeah, I think this is going to be one of the better dragons um, from the set. Of course, we have to like experiment with your hand and whatnot. Oh, this is really good in Paladin. Oh, this is really good in Paladin. Uh, why this is good in Paladin is because of, the, of, of their class card, but... Um, an 8 mana 6 8 Chromagus is really really good because it dodges BGH um, obviously it needs to survive a turn to do something and even if it survives a turn it just gives you a card draw so it's not like it's like as good as like a Ragnaros or whatnot, but it's more late game centric um, I don't know when you have a lot of card draw Chromagus can be pretty insane right I mean imagine if you Chromagus is into power shield you get two power shields and you cast both the power shields and you get double the cards you get like a little bit, you know, like it's insane. Any, any, any card, any class that can draw cards, like a one card, can play this. Like Druid, Chromagus into, into, in, if you draw Wrath, you get double Wrath and double Wrath for two, two, two cards. And then the two cards duplicate themselves and they get like, super happy and whatnot. And then your opponent plays Cola Oracle into Cola Oracle and you lose our cards. Great. Uh, but yeah, I, I think generally this is an okay card. It'll be, it'll be fun for sure. Um... I don't really know about this card. This would be a very demon centric card to be used on. I think I think a good deck for this card would be like a demon deck with Nerubian Egg. And then you just play this nuke their board and then uh, activate your two uh, your Nerubian eggs. You know, something like that. Uh, it's a cheaper consecrate, so of course if you can play it well, then uh, yeah, it's gonna see play. if you can utilize it well, then it's gonna see play. But of course, every time you put a non demon minion, then this card gets slightly worse. So something like abusive can still make the cut. But something like, uh, I don't know, like Knife Juggler might be a little bit iffy. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, this card is really good. I mean, people play Lotheb as a 5 mana 5 5 all the time because it, con uh, it contests Sludge Belcher. And this is a card that contests Sludge Belcher. So, you always get the effect, right? Because even if you have no dragons in your hand, you can just draw a dragon and it costs two less because this lasts pretty much forever, right? There's not, there's not a point in time where this fizzles and just disappears right it always the next dragon you play always costs two less so um yeah paladin seems like it's the best class for a dragon deck right now because dragon decks are not really rushy so um very good uh a two five for three mana uh what can you say um that's two five is pretty good but then of course you compare it to spider tank it's a three four so two five is still balanced uh, obviously, much better against, uh, you know, Swarm decks like uh, Face Hunter, Zoo, if it ever comes back. So, Druid has an option for a 3-drop now. Uh, if the if the meta goes a bit more aggro-centric. Uh, so, fine. Why not? Like it. It's okay. It can be a Super Magma Rager, though. Twice as strong as a Magma Rager. Oh, my God. Insane. Oh, my God. This card is... Oh my god, this card is too good. This card is... It's just, just redonkulous. It's absolutely redonkulous. Like, what the heck? Like, if you have five cards in your hand, you play this, it's basically you play for free. If it survives a turn, oh my god, at the end of your turn, it's not even a battle cry. Like, People, I think, will go crazy if this was a battle cry already. It's not a battle cry, guys. It's it's uh, at the end of your turn. Here's a graveyard. Here's a graveyard. What the heck? 
I'm playing this card. There's no way I'm not playing this card. Although, to be to be fair, I think this game needed a better 6-drop as well. Um, there's not a lot of 6-drop options right now. There's Sylvanas, there's, uh, there's Sylvanas, there's Black Knight, and there's Sky Golem, right? The three neutrals. No other 6-drops are being played. Not even Sunwalker, not even Cairn. So at least we get another 6-drop option, but this is insane. Okay, it's really good. Oh, this is also a very... I, I think this is also a good card. It's like, uh, We have another War Elemental, by the way. This is like the... New four mana three six, um, but of course it can become a it, it either becomes a four five six or seven six. Um, what can I say? Six health at turn four is pretty insane. This is what they want. Uh, this is like way better than the uh, Doom All Shaman that they released. The Doom All Shaman has the same overload effects, but it has four health. But six health is pretty damn badass. It's pretty good. If your mage, if your opponent is a mage and fireballs this, you're not even that sad. It'll just overload for one. But I think this is really, really insane. You play this on turn four, you can still play a fire elemental turn six. I like it. I like it. At worst, it's a four six for five mana. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, this is such a this is such a troll card. I think. Hmm. Uh, not gonna be played at miracle. I don't think. Uh, but it's gonna be played in uh. Uh, I'm I'm not really sure in uh, Temple Rogue. Temple Rogue might play this because they have a lot of card draw, and Mill Rogue will be playing this as well. Uh, our, our, our funny thing is it says choose a minion, yeah. So I'm assuming you can choose your opponent's minions as well. So, but then obviously you need card draw. So this deck needs to be played uh, built around this card if you want to play this card. You can't just go like, oh, I'm just gonna put this in randomly. Yeah, um, I don't think that'll be good. Um, but yeah, there you go. We finally have this uh, interaction where. You, it's, it's kind of like a wild growth, right? It's kind of like a wild growth if you look at it. Just kind of a different mechanic. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna be Ragnaros, guys! Major Domo. Oh my god. Uh, so as far as I know, Ragnaros is a uh, eight, 8 health uh, hero with uh, this hero power. Obviously, it's this hero power. It all makes sense. But uh, I think the, the, the problem with this card is that if your opponent kills this on their turn and then deals damage to your face, you're pretty much dead. Like, 8 health is not a lot to work with. So... I don't know. I'm definitely gonna play it because it's gonna be awesome, cool, but 8 health is not a lot to play with. Like, people think that Jurassic can't be played on anti board because it's a 15 health. It's really, like, shady already, but, like, with 8? And you don't get to control when it happens? I'm not really sure. But, uh... It'll be cool to see what Ragnaros can emote, yeah? The threats in will be die, insect. Uh-oh! A card for Face Hunter! I think this is a very good hunter, Face Hunter card as well. Why this is a good card is because when you draw it and you still have three cards, it's still relevant because you can just empty your hand and play Quick Shot and draw another card. It's really good. Really good for Face Hunter. I, I, like, Cobra Shot is such an expensive card that can also damage the face. Like, Face Hunter is like... Looking for a card like this, you know, you just want to get past taunts at the end of the game. You can't rely on silences, right? So, there you go. Face Hunters, you're pretty happy with this card. I would be pretty happy if I play Face Hunter. Oh my god, this card is insane. This card is insane. Mm. This card is insane. Why, why this is insane? Because you can tailor, you can tailor your deck. So that it always resurrects a good minion, right? So uh, the first example that's really rel uh, that's really obvious is that if you play a Blade Master at turn three and it dies to like a Dark Bomb or whatnot, you play Resurrect and you get a four seven, a two mana four seven, right? That's pretty insane. But um, one of the problems with this card as well is this is a two drop, and it is the only two drop that priests have right now that's relatively good. Like priest is a class that sucks at two drops, and right now you can't even play this a turn two, right? So you need to set this up so that it's really, really good. Um, you know, you can resurrect Sylvanas, Alcani Soul Priest, Sludge Belcher. You know, those are the cards that are more practical. Obviously, you can summon, resummon re uh, Sylvanas uh, and even Ragnaros and stuff like that. But uh, once again, Priest needs to struggle with a big problem is that they do not have two drops. Uh, and um yeah we'll, we'll bring you back we'll, we'll reference this card again when we go to the next card uh, when the other priest card uh revenge 
is a... Uh, like, if you're 12 or less health, I guess you're already dead, and you don't really need the 3 damage ruin. Uh, but it does give... Pal uh, warriors a way to deal with like muster combo right now but like the 12 health is really weird right because even if your opponent paladin is a paladin and musters on turn 5 or something you're pretty much not going to be a 12 or less health and if you are you still need this card and are you going to keep this card against paladin uh, i'm not really sure so i think this is not that good i think this is not that good i don't see this being played i see this being played though this is actually pretty insane uh, especially the Paladin class where you trade a lot of creatures. I can see a lot of Solemn Vigils being played for one mana or even two mana. Like, you trade a lot of stuff, okay? Like, let's just let's just pretend, okay? Trade five minions. Solemn Vigil into Solemn Vigil for free. Volcanic Drake, Volcanic Drake, four drop. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is really good. I, I think this could be really good. This is... Oh, my God. Mm. Blizzard, what are you doing? You already made this card. It's called Zombie Chow. Like, oh my god, what are you doing? Oh, so sad. Like, this could be so much better, but it's not. Like, this card sucks. This card sucks so much. Like, this could be a two-mana card, but it's not. Right? If, like, if it's a two-mana, if you're holding a dragon game plus three health... That's completely fine. I don't want a one mana two three. I already have a one mana two three. Lutsky, thank you so much for subscribing. It works again, yay. Um, but yeah, like the problem of this is that we already have zombie channel, and this being a dragon doesn't even do anything. You get what I mean? Because the only dragon mechanic in the game right now is if you're holding a dragon, right? Are you ever gonna hold this dude? No, you're not gonna ever hold this dude. You're just gonna play it, so it doesn't even have the dragon synergy. Oh my god. I go and look at this style, I was so disappointed. I don't like this card. The Resurrect was really good. But what Priest needed really badly and still needs is a good 2 drop. And we're not- we're still not gonna get it. So, sad. Uh, Volcanic Number is the last card, I guess, yeah? And... Oh my god, this face is like Trick or Treat! I don't see this being played. I really don't see this being played. Uh, Druids usually don't remove a lot of minions. They don't do a lot of trading. No, I don't see this being played. In a ramp druid? No. How, how, is this, how is this even being played? I just don't see this being played. It has 7 attack as well. It has taunt as well. It does a black knight, it does a BGH. It has a very weird conditional, right? It needs to be 7 mana? So 2 things need to die for it to be played. And even then, do you really want to play a 7 mana 7 8 with taunt? No, I don't think so. I don't buy it. I, don't, I, I do not buy it. Poison. Wait. Poison seeds wombo. No. Poison seeds is bad. You want to use uh, the Force of Nature combo of this card? Um. No. Wait, you kill 6 minions. You can't even play it. No. 6 minions is a 3 mana. So Force of Nature into this card would be the best? No. I don't like it. Oh, and that's it, yeah. So, I guess the best cards in the set are... Uh, Solemn Vigil is really good. Uh, Resurrect is really good. Quick Shot is really good. Major Dome was really fun. Uh, yeah. This is insanity. I think. Dragon Corn Sword is really good. Demon Wrath is actually... It, it, it's pretty good with New Ruby Nig. I think it's fine. Chromagus is... Uh, it's good, and it's not that good at the same time. It's like, you need this to stick on the board. And, and with card draw. This is really good. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. This is okay. Yeah. This is okay. This is... Yeah. This is... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is okay. This is... Uh, and, uh, and oh, this is good. This is... This is really specific. This is good. Alright, so that's the set. That's basically my uh, initial assessment of it. Obviously, we need to play the cards to actually know. But, um, the card I'm most excited to play, I guess, would be, um... Would be Resurrect. Obviously, it's a Priest card. Um, you do need to tailor your deck to be really, really good with this card. Well, she's looking pretty nice. But, yeah, um... Yeah, you can get the wheels turning. I'm not gonna play Twilight. Twilight, uh, Rock, though. It's really bad. 
I, it's very flavorful though, because Twilight Drake dies to Earthshock, and this dies to Earthshock as well, right? Yeah, you see what they did there? But other than that, it's a piece of junk. Um, what else do we need? Yeah, this is a fl Flame Guard is okay. I, 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 I could see this being played. Six Health is uh, pretty beefy. It really is quite beefy. Especially if it's a 5 6. 4 mana 5 6s are really, really good. Yeah? So if you play this as a 4 mana 5 6, you, you instead pay 1 overload instead of summoning a 1 drop for them if you play Hungry Dragon, yeah? So, like, I think it's reasonable. Dragon Culture is pretty good. Yeah, so that's the set. Alright. Yeah, I miss Dragon Cards. No, no, no. Crusher is really good. One of the better cards. And the, and the art is also quite insane. Yeah. Look at that. He looks pretty baller. Okay, so that was the my initial review of the set. Man. Sorry, sorry if I... Uh, sorry if it was a bit... Too tight. I need...